Ever since the failed assassination attempt on Donald Trump, the right has been blaming the left for our dangerous rhetoric and saying that that's what caused all of this, despite the fact that the shooter was a Republican. But that does not stop them from continuing to blame the left. And this all led House Speaker Mike Johnson to be called out on CNN by Anderson Cooper for lying to the American public. Now, I will show you that clip in a second because it truly is a great clip. But I want to show you something first. Because it is just outrageous how the right is blaming the left and saying that we are the ones who are inciting violence and creating a dangerous rhetoric. Because anyone that has been following politics clearly knows that the right and the Republicans are the ones who are constantly promoting violence. Just take a look at these official Republican ads that literally feature guns and promote violence. America Wrighton's Navy SEAL, and today, we're going rhino hunting. The rhino feeds on corruption and is marked by the stripes of cowardice. Join the MAGA crew, get a rhino hunting permit. There's no bagging limit, no tagging limit, and it doesn't expire until we save our country. We're back. And everybody remembers when we first rolled on the scene. Well, I'm no career politician. I'm a Navy SEAL, and I'll take dead aim at politics as usual. Everyone also remembers that because I fought for you, they came after me. Well, we're back, wiser, stronger, still fighting, and this time with an army of patriots. She's not your typical candidate. Conservative Joni Ernst. Mom, farm girl, and a lieutenant colonel who carries more than just lipstick in her purse. Joni Ernst will take aim at wasteful spending. And once she sets her sights on Obamacare, Joni's gonna unload. Oh, and one more thing. Joni doesn't miss much. Give me a shot. I'm Joni Ernst, and I approve this message. Nancy Pelosi is sneaking the Green New Deal into the $3.5 trillion budget. And in 2022, I'm going to blow away the Democrat socialist agenda. website below and sign up to win my 50 caliber i'm brian kemp i'm so conservative i blow up government spending i own guns that no one's taking away my chainsaw's ready to rip up some regulations i got a big truck just in case i need to round up criminal illegals and take them home myself yep i just said that i'm brian kemp if you want a politically incorrect conservative, that's me. Those ads are something that feels like it should be a comedy sketch. Like, how are they actually real ads that people are like, yeah, I agree with that. But that's not the only thing. Many members of Congress have also been seen wearing these gun pins, which, you know, is clearly the best image you want to have, right? And let's not forget the average everyday Republican who decks out their truck in violence-inducing rhetoric. And how could we forget the many times that Trump has called for violence? Does January 6th ring a bell to anyone? Remember the quote, hang Mike Pence? Anyway, it is very clear that the Republicans are the ones who have historically called for violence in all of their messaging. And it's ironic that now they're saying, oh, maybe we need to tone it down a little bit. But despite knowing all of this, Mike Johnson still went on to CNN and tried to play this as something that the left was doing. And he was pretty much completely ignoring the fact that Donald Trump is probably the biggest inciter of violence in modern day politics. And this is when Anderson Cooper called him out for playing the victim card and saying, look, Donald Donald Trump is a big offender of this, and why are you just ignoring that? So take a look at this clip. How how do you think that happens? Because uh, as you, you know, this is something that is happening on 
all sides of the, of the political aisle, from, from Democrats, from, from certainly from Republicans. Um, how does that happen? Look, there, there are uh, offenders on both sides, of course. Uh, we've got to get back to um, uh, civility in this country. I mean, I'm one that tries to work on that in Congress. There are others as well. But here's the thing. I mean, it, it's an objective truth that Donald Trump is probably the most persecuted and attacked political figure in, in history, certainly among presidents, maybe at least since Abraham Lincoln, Civil War era. And and that takes a toll. I mean, when, when my colleagues go out, Democrat colleagues, and say, democracy will end, the republic will be in an emergency stage if, if Donald Trump wins for president. It, it's just not true. It's another election. And, and when they say that kind of rhetoric and they heat it up like that, there are people out there that take these things to heart and they act upon them. We're, politicians are not responsible for that. But we do have a responsibility uh, to be responsible. I mean, you know, we're not asking for much. Let's just dial the rhetoric down. Let's have a vigorous debate. That's what our country is built upon. But we have to see one another as fellow Americans and not enemies. I, I do want to point out, just for, for fairness, I'm not, I don't want to get into an argument about this, but the, the former president uh, himself has also used that kind of rhetoric. He said on June 27th, Joe Biden is a threat to democracy, a threat to the survival and existence of our country itself. That's certainly the, the same kind of language you're talking about. Listen, everybody is prone to uh, overstatement, okay? I mean, a few days ago, earlier this week, I mean, Joe Biden actually said uh, we need to put Donald Trump in the bullseye. I mean, right? I, I don't think either of those men uh, meant to imply anything beyond just rhetoric, but the point is the rhetoric uh, has consequences uh, when you have a, a heated environment and you have a political division in this country like we have. In the age of social media, uh, everything is amplified and, uh, and everyone can go on and, and, and turn the, the dials up every day. We need, to, we need to work on bringing that down so that we can have thoughtful debate and we can have policy uh, debates and discussions and not all the rest of this. Overall, I find it completely disgusting that the Republicans, not only on social media, but also in Congress, are saying, yeah, this is definitely the fault of the Democrats, when that is very clearly not the case. The Republicans have historically been the ones inciting violence. And if you ever run into a Republican who's saying, yeah, this is the Democrats' fault and the Democrats are the violent ones, send them this video. Because there is a ton of evidence that shows that Republicans on average are the more violent ones and it's just crazy to me that this is the rhetoric that has been plaguing this country right now we have to work hard to make sure that this does not boost trump's popularity because he and the republicans are the true threat to this democracy not the democrats